Alright, what's up everyone? So I know the H perms are already quite easy, but just in case you're still having trouble with it, in this video I'll make it even easier for everyone. So there really only is one good algorithm for the H perm, and this is probably the only algorithm I'll recommend you learning. And um, so yeah, I'll just straight up show it now. So it goes like this. So some facts about the H perm, it is an opposite edge swap, so the opposite edges are swapped, but I mean instead of recognizing that you can recognize it as headlights on all four sides and the middle edge color is always going to be the opposite color to the headlights. And it's the same on all four sides. So because of that symmetry, the H perm algorithm can actually be done from any angle, it doesn't matter which um, side you're facing, uh, your algorithm will always solve this H perm. So that symmetry, as you could call it, comes in quite handy later on when we're talking about AUF. Uh, but for now, I wanna talk a little bit about memorizing the algorithm. So as you probably saw, it consists of M moves and U moves. So the H perm algorithms are actually quite easy to remember. The main pattern is that it alternates between M2s and some sort of U move. The algorithm starts off um, similar to the MU U perms, it starts off with an M2. And then here you could do U or U prime. I'll get to that in a second, but I usually do a U prime followed by another M2. So it's always an M2 if you do an M move. Um, in the middle here we have a U2 followed by another M2. And then finally, I mean, at this stage, you can sort of maybe just match up the colors, but it's another U prime followed by the M2. So it's, it's very straightforward. It's M2s alternating with a type of U move. Over time, it will, it will pretty quickly become muscle memory and you should be able to do it quite quickly as well. So you may have noticed that I use my right hand for the M moves and my left hand for the U moves. Um, and so for me, it's more comfortable doing U primes rather than U's. So that's why in my algorithm, I have U primes. If you feel that it's more comfortable to do M moves with your left hand and then U moves with your right hand, well, then you can modify the algorithm to do U moves instead of U prime. And it still solves the H perm case. So just as an example, I'll do the M moves with my left hand and my and the U moves with my right hand and I'll do U's instead of U primes. So it'll go something like this. So start off with the M2 and do U's instead. And that also solves the case. So the U's and U primes can change depending on which one you're more comfortable with, depending on which hands you use for what moves. So one of the main challenges a lot of beginners face when they first learn the H perm is the M2 moves. Uh, so how I do the M2 moves is that I use my ring finger followed by middle finger for the double flick. So it goes something like this, ring followed by middle, like that, hitting the middle layer. And um, at first you'll find that you might miss your middle layer, so you might hit both layers or you might get stuck in the middle layer or something. Um, I mentioned this in my U-perm tutorial, um, a lot of practice with the M2s will definitely help you out. But if you're at the stage where you just want to try and just memorize the algorithm and you're not too worried about the speed at which you do it yet, then I recommend maybe just doing uh, just single flicks, um, just, just for the sake of remembering the algorithm. And once you once you're more familiar with the algorithm and you're trying to optimize finger tricks, I suggest that sooner or later you do transition to the double flicks because they make the algorithm just a lot faster to do. So finally, I want to quickly talk about AUF. So AUF for the H perm is just looking at the headlights. So the corner pieces on the H perm don't move during the algorithm. So if you have orange headlights at the front, then once you do the algorithm, this will be the orange side. So in this case, I can recognize pretty much that I don't need an AUF at the end. But here's an example where I would need to do an AUF. So I have red headlights at the front, but red belongs at the back as shown. So at the end of the algorithm, I'll have to do a U2. 
So H perms are special because you can do the AUF before you do the algorithm and that's because the algorithm can be done from any angle. Um, I usually just do the algorithm first and then AUF afterwards anyway. So if I had this case in a solve, I would just I would usually just do the H perm first and then do the U2 at the end. However, it is a common practice that a lot of people do, which is to do the AUF first for H perms and then do the algorithm. The benefit of that is that once you finish doing the algorithm, that's it. You don't need to do another AUF. You've done it before PLL. And I want to mention that this is only valid for H perms. It won't work for any other PLL, only because H perms can be done from any angle. So that's it for the H perm tutorial, rather short tutorial, since H perms are already quite easy and quite straightforward. I hope this video was helpful for those of you who are still struggling with this algorithm. Um, like the video if you learned something new. Please subscribe if you want to see more similar videos and share these videos if you know other people who are learning PLL or who, or who want to learn PLL. It uh, really helps grow the channel and I really appreciate everyone's support. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.